competition in European football. And now it comes down to this, the final itself. Who will prevail? It's Liverpool and they take on Barcelona. It's coming up live next on EA TV. It is something very special indeed to make it to a UEFA Champions League final. Now these two teams are intent upon tasting glory. Welcome to the showpiece event on the European club calendar. Derek Ray here in the commentary position, joined tonight for live coverage by Stuart Robson. It is Liverpool versus Barcelona. Well, Derek, it doesn't come any better than this, does it? This has the makings of an absolute classic. These are two brilliant teams, and at the moment, I can't separate them. Take a look at the Liverpool starting 11. Alisson begins in goal. Andrew Robertson starts with Trent Alexander Arnold in the fullback positions. Mohamed Salah plays with Luis Diaz out wide. And the striker of choice is Darwin Nunez. Well, this is what we think for Barcelona. Marc-André Ter Stegen stands between the posts. Vinicius Jr. starts alongside Jude Bellingham in the centre of midfield. And the lone striker today is Erling Haaland. Champions League final commences. So Bosloy. And Diaz has it. No possibilities inside the box. Now this could be productive. Could be! Oh, that's top box goalkeeping, you've got to say. Trying to handle the pressure. Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. And Barca moving the ball with purpose. And Bellingham. Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, nothing to split the two sides, but this move looks promising. And Bellingham. Well, how about that for a piece of tackling to break things up? And he'd be disappointed if he didn't take that one cleanly. McAllister. Salah. Alexis McAllister. And the ball in behind the defenders. And a foul in the opinion of the referee now what can they do from this free kick situation
well, as you can see, there's not much he can do about that. He's so unlucky, but it goes down as an own goal. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. And space for Liverpool in the wide position. It's got to be! And a goal to increase the lead in this final! Will they be stopped now? Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. And the ball is moving again. Mbappe. Barcelona now in potentially a dangerous position. But they dealt with the threat first. Salah. Now oh, maybe room here for the counter-attack. Well, unfortunately, it fizzled out in the end. Well, we're shortly going to hear the half-time whistle. It's Liverpool on top, and Stewart, they've been impressive. Well, they've played some really good football up to now. In particular, the way they've got it into their front players has been excellent. I've also liked the movement of the strikers. They just now need to take this forward into the second half. And behind for him to chase. The save was a good one. Taken short. Well, didn't have much to work with, but hitting the frame of the goal. Hey, hey. No, he certainly hasn't got much of an angle, but it almost paid off for him there. It's a good effort. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. And there it is, the half-time whistle. <laughs> so back in business here, and it was a below-par effort from Barcelona in the first half. Will they fare better in the second? Lionel Messi just cutting off the supply counter-attacking chance oh what a top-notch pass and he clears the danger and Liverpool might be able to cash in but nothing comes of it Cristiano Ronaldo could be an opportunity here. Holland. On to Ronaldo. And saved by the keeper. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. Christensen. Can he play it in? Messi. Well, that wasn't a million miles away. Well, they're getting closer, but they need to take one of these chances.
it wasn't first class distribution Ronaldo and showing fine vision Accepted it. Now options are plenty. Can he get one back? Goalkeeping of the highest order. Well, he's got to be pleased with that save. It's absolutely magnificent. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Just wide. <laughs> Ryan Grafenberg. An effective challenge. Bellingham. On to Holland. Christensen. And Bellingham. Holland. Certainly wasn't a clean tackle, and the referee has got to book him, I think. And the yellow card for that, Stewart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. to put a positive spin on that one disappointing well I don't think he'll be on the next free kick will he that wasn't good at all Luis Diaz Good work from Barca to make sure possession changed hands. Can he find the right pass? Jota. That's ice for goal. And a goal to put the final stamp on it. That will do it. He doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. Three goals without reply. Diaz takes aim save but still a chance and in the end no damage done how about this England's most successful European club have done it again Liverpool the winners of the Champions League well just look at the emotions out there joy and relief on one side despair and heartache on the other but we've got the right winners here they fully deserve it on the night for these players, well, it's the night of their lives and they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them.
Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The kings of European club football, Liverpool. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. And that's exactly what they're doing. Trotting over towards their supporters to say thank you. A collective effort always on these occasions. Well, what more can you say? They are the best team in Europe. And now for the photographs, that will surely stand the test of time. And what a great achievement for this club. And these are photos.